Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the fourth and final video of this Flutter mini series. So in this video, we're going to install Visual Studio Code and install some plugins to allow us to develop with Flutter and Dart more easily. So again, we're using this documentation here. It can be accessed via the link in the description. So on their docs, they have th uh, a couple different editors you can choose from. So the one we're going to be using and the one I recommend for developing with Flutter is Visual Studio Code. Of course, if you want to use any of the other ones, you can follow those directions here as well. But for this video, we'll be doing it with VS Code. So the first thing you want to do is actually install VS Code if you don't have it already. So you can do that with this link here. you can download for Mac right here. Once you have that, we're gonna to want to install the Flutter and Dart plugins. So go ahead and open Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna open up a new window here. Make that full screen. So we can go to View and then Command Palette. So at the top here, we'll go View, Command Palette. And then we're going to type install and select ex extensions. Oops. So we'll get this one here. So what we can do when we're here, you can search Flutter. And here we go. We want this one here. So this will install the Flutter extension and it will also install the Dart extension. And it's telling me here, please reload Visual Studio Code to complete this. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to make sure we did that all correctly, let's open that back up. You can also get there with Command Shift P. And we're going to type doctor. And you'll see we have this command here, flutter run doctor. Let's click on that. And that will just run the flutter doctor command right here in VS Code. So it's doing a couple of checks, and as you can see, no issues found. So we have one connected device. That's from my last tutorial. I have the Android emulator still set up. If you don't have anything there, that's fine. But the important thing is this VS Code right here. That is all set up and running as well. And then from the previous two tutorials, we have the Android Studio all set up and Xcode all set up. So what we can do is I'm going to close this out. So I'm going to come into my terminal and if I list everything out, this is the starter app that we used in the last two videos. So I'm going to say code dot and open this in Visual Studio Code. Okay, and now we can see all, all of our files here. So we already have our Android emulator up and running. So we're going to keep that up. If you don't have that up, go ahead and open that up with Android Studio. And I'm also going to open up my iOS emulator. So come down here, simulator, and there we go, open it up. Okay, so as you can see, I have both of my emulators down here and my Visual Studio code up to the right all set up and ready to develop with Flutter and Dart. So when you're developing, you can choose between which emulator you want if you have them both up down here on the right. So if I click this, you'll see right now it's on the Pixel 2 XL, but I can choose the iPhone if I want and switch it right over. Then when I want to develop, I can go up here and hit run and I'll hit start debugging. I'll click Dart and Flutter and this will run it right from Visual Studio Code. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we have the app running and it works. And the nice thing about this is if I open up main.dart and start developing, let me just change the title. We'll say Flutter Demo. So just like that it automatically refreshed itself. So I can just keep developing and 
see the changes in real time on the screen. Now, for some reason, if it doesn't show, I can refresh it using this, or if I want to do a hard reset, I can use this green one, and that will give it a hard reset, just like you saw. And at any time, if I want to switch emulators, I can stop the project up here, switch it to the pixel, and run it. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned how you can set up your own Flutter dev environment on your machine. So if you want to learn more about Flutter and developing with it, I have a lot of videos on my channel about it. So feel free to browse my channel and watch some of those videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.